Okay, so I haven't talked about this at all on my channel at all, but I got them. So a few, about a month ago, I guess, I ordered off of Fallow to track animals. And which is super cool about these animals is you get to track them in real life. I'll leave the I'll leave the website down below. Fair warning, I would make an account before you do your animals. Now, I will not be tracking them today. I have not tracked three out of the four that I got. Because I got one first and then I got the other three when I got home. So, let's get to it. And it's so exciting because... I loved all their names, and they're super cute. Right, to start off, we're going to start off with the first one that I got. And I got a shark. Now, I didn't get them like the rest of them, but here's my shark. I could have gotten them like the rest of them, but I had ordered them separately. in two different ones. And I'm also going to show you guys and read as I'm showing you something else. I'm going to read their profile. Now, our shark's name is Eddie. It says, meet Eddie. Eddie is a female great hammerhead shark that measured 285 centimeters total length and is matured. So she's old. She's an old girl. Anywho, she was found and tagged around Andros, the largest island in the Bahamas. Researchers believe that some hammerheads are resistant to Andrus all years. Will Eddie leave the Bahamas or will she stick around and call it home? Now, every one of these live, every fallow card and all that stuff, they all go with a program. So, our program right here for Eddie is Saving the Blue. Now, as I show you her profile picture right here, I'm going to read the back. Each pur purchase helps contribute to saving the blue, working to recover and restore threatened marine species. So they help sharks. And right here, there's a little like QR code that you can like scan. I will not be tracking them today, like I said earlier, but I will scan this little QR code and we will track them once I find a phone or something else to track them on. We will track them. So, and these bracelets are completely wearable. And I'm going to put them on my left because I have my other bracelets on my left too. So, I'm going to pull that down. Next, and is probably one of my second favorite out of all of these. Is my penguin one. Now, I'm going to put it on beforehand for this one because it's really hard. Like I said... I would have gotten them all the same, but I didn't want to because I wanted them all to be Pacific. Now, the last two are kind of like this one, just different animals. And I got the first, I was probably one of the first ones to get the new one on hand. So, that's pretty cool that I got that one on hand. Like I said, they all work with different companies. So, before we do that. This is their company that they work with. They work with GPS, I guess. This is like their thing. It's Global Penguin Society. Anywho, meet Maxar. Maxar breeds in a small family quite sheltered from the typical Penalongan pen wind. His nest is placed only 1,100 feet from the ocean, which is not so far considering that sun nests are 3,300 feet away from the coastline his nest is a part of a is a part of a sample that is mo monitored by the global penguin society every year now this is him this is Maxar. he's so cute and i love his name because it's like pixar i love pixar now yes you cannot see my face and it is because of the way i am I was so happy to get these that I would not stop talking about him and them. Um, so each one kind of like comes with like their own individual like QR code to track them. Like I said earlier, we will not be able to track them today. I'm so sad, but once I get something to actually track them on and another account set up, I will be tracking them. It's going to be so much fun to track them. 
because I cannot wait to see where they go and all that stuff. And I'm going to save one of the best for last. So we're going to go with this one. Now I'm not going to say her actual name because it's very hard to pronounce for me. But this is our giraffe. Like I said, these last four are all in the same color. So, of course, they're all like this. Sorry, guys. But I'm pretty sure most of them are girls. Except Max are. Anywho, gonna put them on. Gonna put her on. That's, that's my hand so far. And if needed, I'm probably gonna have to do this. But anywho, let's get into it. Oh, wait. I wanna kinda do this. There we go. Alright, put us down. Now, this is one of the newer ones I got, and I was so happy to get this one on hand because it was so new. Now, fair warning, this name is very hard to pronounce. So when I say what it means in America, Please do not laugh at this girl because it is really, really cute. And she is adorable for me. Now, like I said earlier, there is a tracking code. I'm not going to show you that yet. But this is their project. So, similarly, Giraffe Project this is their project. Sorry, something came up on my top. Anywho, let's get into reading time. Meet Fausui. Yes, I did say that correctly, I think. If you're from that area, please correct me because I am so lost on that. Fausui is a small, small word meaning success. So, her name is basically success. Anywho, she is very lovely and, and a powerful adult. She is being tracked for research by partners at Small and Graph Project. Giraffe project. Like I said, we won't be able to track them, and I'm so sad right now that we can't track them right away. But this is her. This is our little girl. This is our giraffe. And it's focusing on the conservation and recovery of endangered or some giraffe throughout research, education, and community involvement. I was one of probably the first people to get hands on these, so I was super happy to get hands on her my hands on her when she came in. I'm saving the best for last for me. She, she is, I was so happy when they came in the mail for this one. It's a lion. Like I said, I got three in the same color because they were originally from Mother's Day, but they did not show up for Mother's Day. So they're an early birthday present for me. And I also spent like $41 on my mom's card, so don't judge. Now I'm going to put it right here, just right above, and yes, I do have on like seven bracelets. Anywho, let's read about it. So they work with SO lions, and there's a little cub and a daddy, a daddy lion. It's going to love her name. Meet Sara. And if you've watched the Lion Car, it's kind of pronounced like that, but I can't pronounce it correctly. Because it's like S-A-R-A-R-A. It's really weird. Anywho, Sara's story is one of the most unique that Esalen Mountains have monitored. She lives high up in the Matthew Range mountains and rarely comes down. She has four cubs and mainly pre preys on buffalo. She found a permanent water source allowing her to live within the mountains independently and ha and never having to come down. Like I said, we sadly won't be able to track them all today, but this is Sawi. This is Sawa and this guy took her picture for us. And I'm pretty sure it was during the night time, so that's kind of why it looks like that. But isn't he? I was so happy. Like, she's a mom. I was so happy. But the Matthew Range Mountains, I'm pretty sure, are over in Asia. 
Oh no, if I'm saying it wrong, correct me. Anywho, that's all I got for you guys. Bye!